Hey guys, it's May May, and I decided to show you how to make the card that Miss Sheila made for our cricket, uh, I mean, cricket, ha, ha for our card party that we had recently. And it was just so cute, and I thought, what a cute idea to make a shaped card. And it's fairly simple, and I'm doing it a little different than she did. She has a video on her channel, and she uses her gypsy to do it, so I'll connect you, I'll link that below in the bottom bar. Um, so you can see her do it on her gypsy in case that's what you have, but I'm going to use Cricut Craft Room. And I and I may, I don't know, I may get a little confusing compared to her video, so you might want to watch hers first or mine, I don't know, whichever way, but we do them a little different, so here you go. The card we're going to make, I showed you in the picture before, you saw it already in the thumbnail and also right before we got started, and that card is made using the Create a Critter 2 cartridge. So when you open your Cri um, Cricut Craft Room, you just want to get Create a Critter 2. Two things I need to tell you before we get started. Number one. If you don't have Cricut Craft Room, it is a free download from Cricut. You just want to go to the Cricut website and then download Cricut Craft Room. Now, the second thing I need to tell you is, when you open it, just because you see a billion cartridges, cartridges listed in there, doesn't mean you can just go willy-nilly and use any of them. You do have to own the cartridge, just like with any other thing that they have, the Gypsy, your Cricut Expression, any of those items. You do have to have the cartridge, and I happen to have this one, so I'm excited to show you how to do it. The first thing I do is I find a rectangle somewhere in the um, cartridge and typically you can find a rectangle, a square, a circle, something like that that you can use for this part. So here's my rectangle and I'm just going to click on it. Now I'm going to make this, um, make, I'm going to create this as the base of my card. Now one thing I want to tell you is I don't like using these colors. I'm not printing like you would for the Imagine or I'm not doing a whole bunch of colored layers so I just like to see mine simple and in black and white. So I go up here to this little drop down on this first layer tab, click color, and choose the no color or the no fill and apply. I don't know. That's just the way I work. I think I'm just used to doing that with my graphic design and things like that. So that's just what I do. And I just made this bigger so you could see it. In order to make your card base, you need this piece to be the size of an A2 size card. And I'm going to make this in the landscape style. So I want this to be 11 inches wide. So I'm going to go up here to my width and make this 11 by 4 and a quarter tall. So 4.25 and hit enter. Now this gives me my card base. The, there are several things that are important about this base and we'll get to that. And For some reason it won't stay clicked, but we'll get to that in a second. But this tells you this is your base you can work on. You just can't go outside of this dimension. And as long as you stay in here, you're good. Something Ms. Sheila does I think is really cute and a good idea is she saves a template and calls it her A2 template wide or her A2 template tall. And that's really good because you can just open that template every time and go to work and just save it as something different. This is just how I start. So then I'm going to go down here to basic. Now the bear we're going to use is one that's a little southern bell bear, a little girl bear. And again, or let me say this too, I apologize for my stuffy nose, I have a cold. <laughs> so, this is the little bear we're going to use, and she, she's called Mom Bear. Something I love about Cricut Craft Room because some of these little images can start to blur together after a while, but if you just click, or just not even click, just hover your mouse over the image, the name will pop up. So, this is Mom Bear, and we're going to pick Mom so I'm Bear. Click on for Mom this. Bear here, and here she goes. Now, this is where this gets important. I want Mom Bear to be the same height as this card. You can do it a couple ways. Number one, you can go right up here and tell it you want it to be four and a quarter, 4.25 high. And when you do that, it stretches it like so. That is one way to do it. I am a point and click kind of person. So I like to just kind of play with these little arrows on the side and use those. So I would have just stretched it down to where I wanted it, but this is perfect. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to stretch this image until I feel comfortable with how it looks as far as its width. Right now it's a little too skinny for me. I'm not a skinny girl and I'm not big on skinny bears, so I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to use this little arrow that points out to stretch it. Now, this is where our card base comes in very handy and this is important for you, okay? If you notice on this edge, the corner of the hat, the top of the hat, and the very top here touch. That's important. Remember, this is your baseline. You can't go any further than that or your card will not fit in your envelope. Now, she's still a little skinny for me. I'm going to click her. I'm going to use my arrows and arrow back to bring her back a little bit. And I'm going to stretch her again and see if I like this size that I get. Taking that hat to the very corner of my card. 
Now you're saying, well, right now it's not a shaped card. You're exactly right. It's not a shaped card because I still have this rectangle. So basically now I have a layer and a layer. What I do is I just grab this rectangle underneath and I move it back to wherever I want it. Now, ideally, these, these items would end up at the same spot. So I'd have the hat and the foot at the same spot, but they don't. So I'm going to stop this about here, okay? So what will happen is you will have a little bit of a square showing on the side of that foot. It's no big deal. On the card we did for Miss Sheila, I want to show you where it was. It was about like, let's see, I actually can tell you exactly, but it was about like in this area where it ended. And so you had a little point at the bottom and the top. I'm going to try doing it just like this. Now I played with this technique and I found that if you do say any other shape where you make sure the bottom and the top touch, in some instances, you can actually hide this line all together and it's just your shape showing. So you end up with a shape on the end. And one thing I need to do is I want to get rid of all of these little dots and things in here. And I also don't want it to weld. Make sure you're telling it to not weld because that's not where we're at yet. So I'm gonna click on hide contour and take these guys out. Now anything you click in red will hide. Anything you click out, anything you don't click will not hide. So you want to roll your cursor over it till it highlights in red, click it, and that will hide. It can get a little difficult because some of these guys are tiny. If you have a problem clicking them, all you want to do is zoom your image, make it a little larger, and then you'll be able to click them no problem. Especially pieces like this that are virtually gray. When you look at them, they get really difficult. I didn't get the mouth or this piece. Okay, now you want to click exit and you'll be able to see that I did not get this out of there. So I need to click it again, click hide contour, and try to grab it. I got one. and two. And again, if you can't get it, all you need to do is just zoom in and grab it. Now, if you notice, I have a black square and a black bear and nobody's welded together. And this would be a problem if I click cut right now because cut would cut all of these lines and cut this card right completely out. So what I want to do is grab my rectangle and I want to tell it to weld and it is. And now I want to grab my bear and tell it to weld. And when I do this, Notice that my lines change and the black line goes here and stops and wraps around the bear and these in the middle go gray. When I cut this, I get a perfect base for my bear. Now let's work on the hat and the other little features of the bear. So we're going to go back down to this little section and find our bear again and we're going to do a shift lock, okay? And this is going to give you the little body feature and the little ear feature, so let's click that. I'll move this out of the way. Now, if we knew exactly what size this little bear was, we could just image size this and be fine. I'm never really good at that, so this is how I do it. If you guys are good at it, fantastic. Okay, so we have our little bear. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it up to this section, and I'm going to start to stretch it and make it fit over what I currently have. Now, remember, this little guy here is going to be an exact fit. Okay, so I want to bring him exactly where he needs to be and stretch him exactly to his size. Now something important is we need to tell it to not weld. Did you notice how every time I clicked out it would go dark? That's because it's welding. Say don't weld and now I can see my piece better. And I just literally play with him until I get him exactly where I need him. And I like to do it this way because I feel like I can really see where the pieces are lining up and where they're not lining up. Um, it helps me. He's not quite wide enough. Now he's a tiny bit too wide. There we go. And 
you just adjust him until he's right. And I'm a little picky, so I get him like, I try to get him like extremely perfectly right. And it's hard to do that, but you know how us crafters are. <laughs> the biggest, most important thing is that he's right to this edge out here where your card is going to be. It's very important that he's good and close here. Okay, so I've got him good and close, and now he's ready to cut. I'm going to move him out of the way, bring him down here. Now I need my other pieces, so let's go back down here and pick up some more. Ugh, this cold, ugh, that's all I sound like at work all day. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to click Layer. This is the same one I'm using, and notice whenever I hover over it, it says Mom Bear S. This is her hat, so I'm going to click on Hat. I need that. I'm going to close this down, and I'm going to size up her hat, but I'm going to do it using the Big Bear at the top. So I'm going to tell it, don't weld. And I'm going to bring this up here. Don't weld. Thank you very much. And let's stretch it to fit. Oops. Undo that. Something I do know is if you use this little arrow set here in the corner, it constrains the image so that it doesn't get all wonky. It's, it basically pulls it all at the same time in the same places. But if you pull any of the other pieces, then you're pulling one piece and then another, and they don't move at the same time when you do that. And because I freehand, freehanded my bear shape, I have to do a little more work in this area because I didn't set it to a definite size. So I have to do a little more work in the stretching and shaping. This needs to go a little further down, a little further over. The good thing is this. You might take a few minutes to do it now, but once it's done, you can cut as many as you want. That hat is the right size now. Put that there. Let's go back and get the rest of our pieces. We are going to need a tummy and a flower. Let's hit shift. Here we go. <laughs> now we've gotten the tummy and a flower and an earpiece. I'm going to bring this and stretch it a little bit. All right. We can cut these separately or we can just size the major pieces and use them as they are. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run right over here and I'm going to size this nose piece up. Remember, tell it don't weld, because when you weld, it goes away. And that's not what we need it to do. Oops, move my bear instead of my face, but that won't help. That won't hurt. Okay, so now I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it, <laughs> make sure my tummy fits, and it will. Make sure my flower fits, and it does. And everything else should be just fine on that. One thing I want to do to this hat is I want to hide these contours. I don't like when those cut. I think they just don't really help. Remember, if I click right now, I get the hat. I don't want the hat. I want this sliver in the middle, and then I want these little guys. And now I've hidden everything inside. So now when I put my flowers and stuff on, they'll just be on there. You can do the same with all of these items. If you want to hide the contour on this flower and get rid of these little pieces, that's the cool thing. Now I just have a flower, so if I put a gem on it, it'll be really cute or like Miss, she like Miss Sheila did. Now the one other thing I need to do is cut a base for this bear. All you'll do is take this little guy, copy it, paste it, move it over here. <laughs> this makes it real simple. And then you just want to hide all those contours like we've been doing. Not the body, but these little contours. So if you do this, then you end up with the little base. And you don't have to let your um, background piece match. Got the body, didn't mean to. Oh, good lord, I can't get that right. 
So you get all these little pieces, hide all them out. And goodness, goodness, goodness. This will create your base bear for those little pieces you just cut. Say exit. So, oh, miss one. Let's grab it. That's one thing I really like is it will show me what I miss. Um, I don't know how I missed him. Gosh. He's a little tiny thing. Let's put that one back. Got it. So now you have the base bear and it matches perfectly to the one you did. So you can have that little base color if you want to do that. So you can have like a three different color bear there. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. You'll just put all your paper where you want it here to cut it out on your Cricut mat. I think we probably all know how to do that kind of stuff. And then this little card is ready to make. And I'll show you a picture again at the end how Miss Sheila did hers. And I will link her project at the bottom. I hope that helped you guys out a whole lot and enjoy using Cricut Craft Room. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.